Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. Today I have an AIA unboxing for the month of March. Now, I'm super excited about this because AIA is a monthly subscription box service. $35 a month. The cool thing about AIA though is they do a brand takeover. So it's usually some sort of influencer, some sort of brand that takes over and you get, I don't know, five or six or so full-size products to try. Not sponsored, not affiliated, not endorsed. I pay for this, right? But the thing I love about this is that usually when you get a full brand, you have enough products for like almost a full regimen of whatever. Now, last month was Jason Wu, and before I even cracked open any of the products that came with it, I went online and placed an order. I'm thinking I might do that with this month as well. It doesn't happen all the time. Uh, there was a Mac takeover, which was a huge walk down memory lane. I had recently picked up some Mac blushes and lip products and eyeliners. And so that was kind of fun to incorporate those into what I got in that subscription. They've had hair care, a couple different hair care ones that I found some fantastic products that I was super excited to try. I got introduced to things that I wouldn't have thought before. And they have all been, with the exception, I think of two they've all been very very high-end products i would say that the vast majority of the boxes have been very high-end nice type products and so i've been thrilled with them so this month i've got to I tell you i've already cheated i've already gotten into this this was a alicia keys takeover so this is keys soul care now if you guys are familiar at all if you're a lady of a certain age like i am then you know alicia keys back in the day was glamorous. Well, she still is, but she was full face of glamorous, just rock star. I mean, maybe not rock, but she was a star. And as a celebrity, as a star, she always looked so polished, so put together. Imagine how she turned the industry on its head when she decided to go completely makeup less, completely no more makeup. She stopped wearing makeup completely and focused so much on skincare and just having her own beauty shine through shocking and empowering and inspiring and all the things i could never do that I, but i applaud her for doing it she looks amazing even when you look at these you can tell she i mean she looks probably half her age and she doesn't wear any makeup she just looks amazingly healthy so be strong be beautiful be you is what it says on the inside of it and we have a bunch of products six full-size products here. I've already used them all. <laughs> I actually used some of them before bed last night and then I retouched um, on a, a couple of things this morning because I didn't use all of them last night. Um, the first thing in here is the, where is it at? The Be Luminous Exfoliator. That's this thing right here. I'm going to take them out of the boxes because I put them all back in the boxes um, after using them. So I actually used this this morning. It's, uh, these are beautiful glass jars. I'm going to try to put it over here where you can kind of see it a little bit beautiful glass jars. They just seem very elegant. This says, uh, be luminous ex exfoliator. Hold on. Where are my glasses? I'm going to read to you what it says because I didn't initially even read the instructions and I was a little surprised when I went to use an exfoliator and hadn't read the instructions first. So this says, sorry for the glare. It's just going to have to have either way. Be luminous exfoliators. That's this one. Exfoliate your skin with this restorative water activated exfoli exfoliating powder for the complexion formulated with hohika powder, uh, hohika powder, lactic acid, mung beans, and oats. So this MSRP on this is $22. I was not expecting it to be a powder. Now, if I would have read the description, I would have known it was a powder. But when you take off this little plug here, kind of have to take off the stopper, ooh, ooh, ooh. take off the stopper and you get powder. This is a this is a powder exfoliator and I didn't know that. So I go into the shower, which is typically where I do my exfoliation is in the shower. I'm trying to put it back in the bottle. And uh, the the first thing I realized was this is a weird stopper. The second thing I realized was, oh, it's a powder. Let's hope I can figure this out. And I could. I actually poured a little bit in my hands. I wasn't sure how much to use. I think I got maybe I would say a quarter of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, maybe. Uh, poured it in my hands, got it wet in the shower, and it felt so good on my skin. It turned into this very, almost, it almost got a little like a paste, but then with when it was so water activated, it just felt like volcanic ash. 
if that makes sense. The only thing I can use to describe it too is my favorite exfoliator of all time is the Kiehl's Ancient uh, Rare Earth one. And this felt like that. So I was ridiculously excited to find something else that was like it. Similar price point, right? $22. So I uh, used that this morning. Thrilled, 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 thrilled. I'm going to love the way these look on a shelf in my bathroom. They're just going to be so pretty. Okay. So that was the Be Luminous Exfoliator. The next thing on here... Actually, I'm going to show you this one. This is the last thing on here. This is the Golden Cleanser. So Golden Cleanser says a delicate soothing face cleanser that generally purifies the skin and your spirit with antioxidant rich hydrating manuka honey and calming turmeric. MSRP is $20. This I uh, used last night actually for the first time because I thought it would be a little recycle bin here. Uh, I thought it would be a nice, uh, like it might be a good makeup remover type thing. And really liked it. Yeah, it has a very, very light scent. Uh, golden Cleanser, it says. All, all these say Soul Care. Uh, so on the back of this bottle, hold on, what does it say? I just realized they have other little like quotes on them here. Uh, I am layered, complex, and divine. And this one says, I am devoted to this moment. And then it's in French too. Je suis tout entier dans le moment présent. I don't know if I said that right. My own français is a little rusty, if you know what I mean. Okay. And then the next thing on here is the Reviving Aura Mist. I used this both last night and this morning. And this is kind of like a little spray toner. Aren't these gorgeous bottles here? This has a very light floral, like an herbal floral kind of scent, not like a green floral scent. The mist on this was really, really fine. I love the way this felt on my skin. This is one that I can see doing throughout the day too. So it says naturally, naturally rose scented revitalizing face mist spray and toner formulated with a rose of jericho and witch hazel yeah i'm i'm thrilled with this one some people don't like the scent of rose i actually really do so yay for me uh msrp on that is 22 dollars. next thing i'm gonna pull out here is the promise serum is what it's called so promise serum says it's a lightweight brightening facial serum so it says a lightweight brightening facial serum with niacinamide, zinc PCA, snow mushroom that helps control oil levels for a balanced, healthy looking complexion. I don't have super oily skin, but when I think of balancing skin oils, I think, does it give you oils where you need it and control it where you have too much? I don't know. Uh, saying on the back of this one, it says, I embrace all possibilities. Did I do the one with the toner? Said, I am free as the air. Je suis libre comme l'air. Uh, I embrace all possibilities is the serum. Now the serum to me, I didn't really know what to expect. I, I put a little bit of it on and I realized it's actually kind of a thicker serum. See, and now I put it on the back of my hand and maybe it's not as thick as I thought. Maybe I just used too much. Wow, that feels great. Immediately just absorbed into the back of my hand. Wow. Okay, so I, when I first put it on, I thought, wow, this is really thick. And then I used it this morning and I didn't notice it quite as much. I just put it on the back of my hand. I'm like, okay, it's not thick at all. I don't know what I was thinking. So I guess you can't trust your first impressions for somebody who's not a professional makeup artist, professional YouTuber for that matter. Okay, then the next thing on here is the Radiant Eye Cream. This one says a hydrating under eye cream that locks in moisture and helps improve the look of dry lines, peptide sunflower seed oil, and gold foil. MSRP on this one looks like it's $28 for an eye cream. That's not too bad. This one says I have awakened my full potential. That's probably a good thing to put on the back of an eye cream, right? It's a very thick, rich, emollient feeling cream. I'm not getting a huge amount of scent, maybe just a little bit. I can still smell things. If I sound a little congestion, congested, it, it'll get better. Anyway, this uh, eye cream, I used it last night and I used it this morning and I thought it was fantastic. Um, the last thing on here is the Comforting Balm. Yeah, Comforting Balm. Hold on. Comforting Balm says it's a soothing skin balm for the face and body formulated with Camellia, Camellia seed oil, Rose of Jericho, avocado oil, and shea butter. Uh, MSRP on this is $12. Now, when I first saw that there wasn't like a moisturizer, but there was this balm, I was like, oh, well, maybe this is a night cream, you know, kind of a sleeping mask type thing. It's not. This is this is all you get. It's, it's about the size of a uh, lip mask. Do I have one handy here? Yeah. Okay. So here's my, uh, my elf lip mask. It's close to the same size, a little bit bigger, right? I don't know about the actual, but it's, it's similar in size, slightly bigger. Anyway, I use this on my lips after I brush my teeth and just kind of let it sit there. And I thought it was great. 
Is it enough for like elbows or heels or probably not? Cuticles, lips, that's pretty much all I would use it for. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. Total MSRP on everything in this AIA beauty bundle. Hold please, let me look. 22 for the exfoliator, 25 for the serum, I probably mentioned that earlier, 28 for the eye cream, 12 for the balm, 22 for the mist, and 20 for the cleanser. $129 was the total MSRP for everything that came in March's American Influencer Awards Beauty Bundle. Again, Alicia Keys Takeover Soul Care. I am thrilled. Does this one, hold on, this one has got to have a little saying too. Did I say this one? I surround myself with things that are good for me. Gosh, shouldn't we do that? This is this is cool. I'm excited. You guys, when the when the brand first launched, I was mildly aware, but sometimes the celebrity brands can be cash grabs, and so I wasn't like 100% convinced I needed to jump into it. But now that I have it, now that I'm trying it, this might end up being one of my favorite favorite brands out there. That's shocking to say because I'm 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 a big fan of like Elizabeth Elizabeth Arden skincare, Arbonne skincare. And some of the Kiehl's line are some of my favorite brands out there. By the first couple uses of this, this might give them a run for money. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, I, I don't get a whole lot of subscription boxes. I really only get technically three, four if you count the dog's bark box. I don't do videos on that <laughs> very often. Stick around. I hope to see you again in a future video. And until then, bye for now.